I'd come to Fort Walton Beach in Florida to see an ingenious vehicle that has been designed to travel on land, water, and in the air. Clear prop. The Signet is the brainchild of aerospace engineer and pilot Michael Percy. All right, you buckled? Yeah, I'm all good. Good. Strapped in. Let's get to moving. Incorporated call this an amphibious trike. It's impressive, isn't it? But what makes the Signet totally unique is its ability to fly. This maritime motor trike has a fixed wing that's been adapted from a hang glider. To help it get airborne, it has a 68-inch propeller driven by a 900 cc four-cylinder engine producing 100 horsepower. Signet can take off on land and water, and going between the two was seamless. And even though it combines three types of transport, operating this flying amphibious machine seemed relatively easy. So just like a car, yep. you've got a throttle under the right foot, uh -huh. then a brake under the left foot. Okay. And then I'm steering, and so this is just like a bicycle steering, but instead of with our hands, with our feet. Okay. So if we want it to go that way, we turn our feet that way, just like we'd turn the handlebars that way on a bicycle. Uh, okay. Controlling the Signet may be straightforward, but everything has been highly engineered. The floats, for example, act like pontoons, making the craft incredibly stable, and their innovative design maximizes performance. They've got sort of a tunnel underneath that captures the air, and they've got oh, okay. a split in the float here that allows air to suck in underneath the floats. So it gives you lift. It so gives it you might lift. It glides a lot better. That's right, and lets you ride on a cushion of air and the important thing there is that you're breaking the inherent grab that the water has on the floats. You've got to break okay. free of that friction, and then you can accelerate really fast. Okay, final check. Our wheels are up. Yep. And then Michael effortlessly got his airborne. And we're accelerating up to speed. There we are at 40. Okay. And up we go. With two occupants, this particular model Signet climbs at a rate of 1,000 feet per minute and has a top airspeed of around 65 miles per hour. This is quite unbelievable. This is quite a weird sensation being open to the elements. And it feels like we're doing quite a hefty speed. I'm sure we're, we're probably only doing about the 50, but it feels faster. This is fun. Oh my God, do not even call them on. <laughs> I was having an incredible experience, but piloting any aircraft means having to contend with an invisible enemy that could strike at any time. And out of the blue, it did. That was the turbulence from flying through his wake. Wow! <laughs> What we experienced was the air turbulence created by the crew signet that was flying alongside us. And because I was so exposed, it did shake me up a bit. I was a little bit scared. <laughs> the turbulence added a touch of fear to the excitement I was experiencing. But I had to put that to one side because after a little tuition, Michael was going to allow me to pilot the signet. You nervous about your first takeoff? I am a little bit nervous actually. <laughs> I'm normally not this quiet. Yeah. I'm one of those people that you really can't shut up, <laughs> um, annoyingly enough. However, I am a little bit anxious. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Go all the way forward. All right, let it come back now. Okay, and relax, let me get it a little bit. Thanks to the dual controls and quality engineering, I felt perfectly safe and totally confident. This is a moment of kind of excitement and sheer, wow. <laughs> and you'll feel little bumps in the air. Uh-huh. And the best thing to do is just let the wing dance. When you feel those little bumps, just relax your arms and it's let like it. being on a mountain bike and, dry, and cycling through rubble. Exactly. It's like you exactly. just have to let the wheel do what it needs to do and you just hang on. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. 
And right on cue, more turbulence, just to test my resolve. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like the white knuckle ride moment done. <laughs> Doesn't really get much better than this, to be quite honest. I'm soaring through the skies in Florida, doing 50 miles an hour, feeling safe as houses and looking at some of the most beautiful scenery. This is so James Bond-esque. I literally cannot take the smile off my face. The Samsung Q1. Both Samsung and Microsoft were very excited. They saw it as a completely new. This week on The Gadget Show. Music that follows you around and broadband on your mobile.